So today in BMG Drive, we're gonna be checking out the best automation cars I've ever seen. We have awesome off-roaders, fast dragsters, big monster trucks, and then we have this abomination that you see here that is actually really amazing. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So folks, we're ready for our first stunt here. We have six mobile homes that are made in automation and we have probably one of the biggest monster trucks I have ever seen here. This is called Earthquake and folks, this thing's pretty extreme. Yeah, I didn't realize people were creating awesome stuff like this in automation and uh-oh, I hope this thing's got a little more speed than this. I mean, it looks like a big giant bulldozer, but uh, this is gonna be fine, right? Here we go, through the houses. Oh, holy man, it did it. Oh, we folded the wheels. Oh man, please editor, give us a slow -a replay of the house exploding. <laughs> and I feel like we're watching a commercial for like Monster Jam or something, or maybe Komodo's version of Monster Jam, uh, where we bring way too larger trucks with big tires that like to snap off. What? <laughs> this is not one of the more practical automation mods, but that's not what it's about. All right, gas it up. This big boy is gonna run over the rest of them, and boom! Oh, we jumped him. Yeah, buddy. Okay, the wheels fell off again. Well, good thing is I have several other monster trucks, but I think we need something faster. So this thing is called the Anarchy Raider. So if you would have told me this was just a normal beam and G like model, I would have believed you. Like this was made in automation, man. You know, I thought the Shintilla was a really awesome off-roader, at least the off-road version of it. I'm not saying the normal car, uh, but this, this is a beast. All right, here we go. Let's go up to the house. We want to smash through it. Uh, the wheels haven't fallen off this thing, so that's a good thing. Uh, here we go. Boom! Okay, that has a really solid frame to it. Those buildings are everywhere. I might want to despawn those real quick. Out of curiosity, can the house actually uh, destroy the car here? Okay, and... Oh! <laughs> I think I found a new use for the mobile home. Oh, that was cool looking. Uh, it flattened like a pancake. That thing is heavy. Like, really heavy. I mean, it's a house. All right, well, we're going through the dunes again. We have to test this thing out over the jumps. Look at that. Man, it handles it perfectly. Hold on, how's the turning? Uh, gets sideways. Uh, folks, this might be my new favorite off-roader. And the bad thing is, it's an automation mod. I mean, it's not taking anything away from the creator. It's just you don't expect, like, this kind of quality. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to shoot up this jump. I don't know if we're going to make it. Uh, might not be going fast enough here. Oh! No, no, no. Oh, we're definitely not going fast enough. Hey, we made it to the road, though. All right, I got one last thing I got to do with this. I got to hit this jump. Uh, this is definitely proven uh, to be one of the ultimate off-roaders. Watch out, everybody. Coming in hot here. Okay, full speed. And send it. Yeah, buddy. Hold on. Land, 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 land. Oh, that was a rough landing. I think we've officially bent the frame. It took flying through the air like that. Hold on. Can we still drive it? Guess what, folks? Still drives. I mean, it doesn't drive near as well now, but uh, you get the point. This is one tough vehicle. So we're going to change gears here and go to something that I don't know why I downloaded it. It's called the Rolling Cathedral of Doom. Like, it probably is... I don't want to say it's useless, but I don't know what you would use it for besides looking at it. Here it is. It is probably the ultimate... Uh, I guess you can call it a hearse. Is it a church too? Like, can we go in there and have uh, some sort of memorial service? Now that I think about it, I need to actually get in contact with my lawyer about a will because if there's one of these that kind of exist, I want it. If you run people over, it kind of acts like a, uh, you know, like a self-service thing. Like you hit the person, you load them up in the back, you take them to the funeral home and boom, profit. I mean, just look at the detail of the skulls and the skull on the front. Like it is so good. Also, the big spikes coming out of the wheels, the oversized exhaust uh, that's spewing out smoke on the side. Like, this looks like a, a vehicle that you would find in, like, Twisted Metal or something. Like, I'm expecting, like, missiles! Uh, oh. Oh, uh, well, the, uh, guess what? The vehicle also has another feature. I'm assuming it is, uh, the apocalyptic explosion. Um, uh, this is our vehicle now. Yeah, it's got a really neat kind of, I don't want to call it a self-destruct, but it was an explosion that was 
uh, amazing and we probably devoured the world so we have our next one which this is probably one of the more normal looking cars it's called the dude lucifer so i'm getting hellcat or probably demon vibes from it uh like a challenger like oh yeah it's definitely a challenger but i'm assuming it's morely uh, to the demon spec uh it's pretty mean looking. All right, we got to get a real speed test here, though. The cops are after us. We need to get out to the highway and see how quickly we can get down, down to one end. Like, this thing's got such nice pickup on it. I uh, wish it sounded a little bit meaner, but that's, of course, I think down to the automation uh, sounds. And oh, dear. Okay. How did we... Sur oh, I spoke too soon. Over 200. All right, it was trying to pick up there. Like, it is flying over 200 miles an hour. Uh, very impressive beast. Let's go ahead and put the dude in the wall and... Oh, <laughs> oh and there's those weird automation crash, crash physics. Uh, I think the whole engine driveline just came out as one piece. So while we're on speed... Actually, that did not sound right. Uh, while we're looking at speedy cars, here's the Hillborn J100 Drag. I'm expecting something spectacular here. So here it is. Are we going to get dude speeds? Man, look at the wheels on this thing. It's really good looking. Uh... This feels like a drift truck. Yep. I feel like this might be one where we'll do it a little bit more justice if we took it over to West Coast. All right, here we are at the drag strip. Let's just make a run in this. I'm gonna keep it at its default setting. Like I'm not gonna play with the traction control here. Uh, Where's the shift points? I feel like I'm just, oh geez. Oh geez. It dances. It's actually fun. It's not, I mean, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, but it's not too bad. So sixth gear, like it doesn't like seventh gear. Kind of weird. Uh, I like it though. It dances around a lot. Like you could feel, even though it's got like ginormous back tires, uh, it's skating around trying to lose traction down the drag strips. Actually really amazing feeling. Okay. One more run without the traction control. We'll just do it and drive here. All right. Oh yeah. It tops out what? 220 ish. Kind of has little spurts up a little bit higher. And oh, that is, yeah, this is deadly. I still say we need to find a way to get working like drag stir or drag racing parachutes in this game. I feel like that would be so awesome if that was possible. All right. So as you can see here, I still have several like monster trucks I want to check out, including what appears to be like a limo monster truck. It looks like something out of snow runner. Uh, we're definitely going to check that out, but there was one that looked really good. This is just called monster truck. I think it was kind of listed under like Bigfoot. But yeah, look at this. Uh, it's definitely by the same creator that created the uh, the one we checked out earlier. I'm just kind of hoping maybe the wheels are a little more stable on this. Oh, it's wobbling like crazy. Oh dear. Oh, that is a thing. Okay, let's go run over some traffic. Why don't we? Uh, I gotta go find me some traffic here. Oh, that looks so satisfying. Watching the uh, suspension work over the big bumps. Uh, it's a little funny on asphalt, but uh, I think this thing's going to work out pretty well. Kind of out of control. And... Oh! Okay. That did about what I thought it was going to do. Uh, the tires and suspension setup in automation apparently aren't ready. Uh, definitely probably not the actual creator's fault. Did an amazing job with what they have. But uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to run over somebody. I feel like the tires are just too hard. Like they just want to blow through the object instead of rolling over it. But nonetheless, it's impressive. But you know what? We got to check out something else here. I saved this for last because I don't know what we're going to do with it. I hope it even spawns. It looks so large. Like, I didn't know you could create an object this big in automation. I almost wonder if they use, like, a modded version of it. And here it is. <laughs> Why is the camera 400,000 yards back? What is this? Like, what is going on? Oh, somebody just hit my tire and it ate him. I mean, this is the most American thing I've ever seen. Um, how many miles to the gallon do you think this gets? 0. 0.5. What the? Wait, hold on. Okay, so this thing is definitely a rolling, like, nightclub. There is a full DJ booth set up here, uh, playing the hottest tunes. There are a couple poles there for... I guess to help you get up totally in the car. Uh, you've got bars... Uh, there's more bars. There's even... Oh, there's a grill with steaks on here. This is amazing. Oh, look, there's a mannequin uh, demonstrating what you shouldn't do getting up into the, uh, into the vehicle. And there's a hot tub in the back. Okay, so does it drive? Um, you know, it's faster than I thought it would be. I hate that our camera's so far back. Let me see if I can zoom it in a little bit. There we go. Okay, I've got the camera closer. I mean, it's still not drivable because, like... 
Uh, it's such a weird perspective. Also, I didn't see the sunroofs. Um, could you imagine if you saw us coming down? We're totally going to either take off the cab. Actually, I don't think the cab's going to fit. Uh-oh. <laughs> This is the biggest why ever. Okay, I think we're good after this bridge. Okay, we're totally good now. We can continue our party here. Oh no, we're gonna do it again. Wait, this might be a little higher up. No, it definitely isn't. Okay, it is officially impossible to drive this. I mean, you could go to grid map. Uh, nobody really likes driving a grid map. I got an idea. What if we try to pull it down the big hill? Like, I feel like there's a chance it might bottom out. Say you're done with Sunday Mass and you're ready to get into your big limo with uh, questionable items. You just jump in, you roll out, you peace out to everybody, and we have a party. So here we go. Can we drive this in the city? We gotta watch out for light poles. Look at us! We are rolling here. Watch out, everybody! They're probably frightened seeing this thing behind them going, what is wrong with these people? I can't make the turn. Okay, well, you know what? We were just gonna... Park the party over here by the pier and, you know, just have a good old time here. This is such a pointless vehicle, but I am here for it. I, I love it. Best vehicle ever. And there we go. 